Yearwood. He's good. He's good. He's good. He just texted me and said, you rocked it. He's been watching me Aww. today on TV. So We Hi, love honey. you. We do. Mm, that's so nice. I don't know. Virtual hugging him. Um, <laughs> so wait, you're at QVC tonight. Where are you tomorrow night? Uh, Buffalo, New York. Oh, wow. With you my know, husband. Some, oh, that's so, oh, you get to see her tomorrow. Yay. We'll miss her, um, but we're glad. So somebody just asked in the chat, isn't she supposed to be in Buffalo tomorrow? So people are keeping up with where you're going next. I love yeah, that. Yeah, we were in booking the tour. My husband said, I'll pick these first these first few months. So he picked the coldest places in the country to go. But I think I'm going to take a swimsuit to Buffalo. <laughs> I think it's going to be um, it's going to be good. You've been up for 24 hours. Yeah, I have. <laughs> How can you tell? <laughs> no, you can't. You're still doing so awesome. You know, here's the tell, also. Every time I'm back there and I'm waiting to come back out for the next time, <laughs> I'm on my computer and I'm getting a lot of things. Thank you for ordering from QVC. <laughs> so I've, I've really boosted the economy here tonight because I've, I've bought several things tonight. So what'd you find that you like? Um, I bought the collapsible colanders. Ooh, those I, are really I did. good. I got them in blue. Of and, course. Um, and then it, when I first got here today, they were selling this uh, travel uh, makeup bag that just kind of cinch up and take yes. with it. And I travel all the time, so I bought a couple of those. We kind of like makeup in here. We've talked about right. that before. And, and I actually bought my own green pants because I didn't have them in the dark blue, which is the car's favorite color. Hi, honey. So I, I had them in the other blue. Hi. Um, Hi, David. She bought her own green pants from QVC today. <laughs> it did. Sweetie. <laughs> Thousands of sets. No, just kidding. <laughs> she bought them in blue. Just I one. bet if you called the green pants folk, they might send you one. Well, just one. I'm just guessing, but I'm thinking maybe. I just, you know, just for the cause. You I wanted them blue, and I thought they were going to sell out. So. Um, may I take this pretty lady yes, away please, from you? Yes, please, because we've been chatting away, and Trisha has been lovely enough to add comments in our chat. But they're excited about that cookbook. Well, it's not going to last long. That's why we why we wanted to bring it on in. And Miss Tricia, already 2,100 books wow, are gone. Wow, thank you. Now, we did not get a lot of these. Uh, we're not able to get our hands on a lot of these for our show tonight. So we're really thrilled about this. But this is your third cookbook, ma'am. It is. And tell us about this book and what makes it special to you. Um, you know, these recipes are, fr from the very first book, are a passion for me. They're my mom's recipes, my grandparents' recipes, Excuse my dad's. Me, and after a couple of cookbooks, then you start incorporating things that I've been making, my sister and I've been making just for the past like five years. Sure. And our lifestyles are that we love comfort food, but we don't eat um, we don't eat this this really decadent food every single day. We, sure. So that we can really enjoy it when we have it, you know. So this book is a little more of a mix of um, some lighter things and then some heavier things. I mean, even a lighter dessert like I see that you've got. This is angel food cake, but it's chocolate angel food cake. Ooh, it's really light angel food cake. with strawberries on top. So that's an example of still enjoying it, not sacrificing flavor, right? but having something that's a little bit lighter on your table. You know, I may have told you earlier this was shipping out on the 7th of April, and I apologize. This has been updated. My information is updated. This is shipping on March 31st. Yeah, they moved it up. Yes, and so this will be shipping out March the 31st. There are 100 recipes in the book, and Trisha likes to call this book an 80-20 mix. 80% good old-fashioned comfort food and 20% a little lightened up, right? Yeah, we actually, it's actually the other way around. It's 80%. Oh, I beg your pardon. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's 80 I guess 80. it was wishful thinking <laughs> on my part. All well, right. you know, some days it's 80, 20, 80% of the time you try to make healthier choices and 20% of the time you enjoy that comfort food. And so that's really what <laughs> this book I do is just about. The opposite. What are you doing over there? I'm just <laughs> cleaning my hands because I was handling that raw well, chicken out in the Well, I mean, some days studio. for me are, some days it's 20, 20 80, the, the reverse way, but I, but, I, but I try. And there's, there's some, there's definitely all the decadent things. I mean, that's, that's key lime cheesecake with raspberry sauce. But we've sauce. got to go after these that's, before that's this sells out. That's in the 20% out. decadent. Now, <laughs> these are peanut butter pretzel bars. Yeah, they're no bakes. You don't have to do anything except melt the chocolate in the microwave. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> these are going to be so good. Mm. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, can you get your hands up in the air like this? <laughs> I can. And can we go clockwise? Happy dance! I'm doing the happy, happy dance, dance. with Tony Venable. Get a happy dance. Get I'm it. doing it. Mm. <laughs> we started the show with over 4,000 books. I have 900 left. Wow. 500 people on the phone lines. We just need to do a quick tour of the table. Trisha goes, I don't okay. think we'll have time to All eat. Right. This is Taco Pizza, Gar's favorite. That's Gar's favorite. It's his recipe. He came his up with recipe. it himself. Yes. What do you got here? Georgia pulled pork. Yum. Slow cooked. With pickles. I love that. With pickles. There's some holla French toast. French toast. That's kind of, a, I call that holiday French toast. It's got a little bit of um, pumpkin pie spice in it and cinnamon. Is this grits and greens? Grits and greens and cheese. Mm. This is, I could eat this whole thing and I may just take it with me. You should take it on the plane this evening. <laughs> I might. And then you got chickenless chicken pot pie. Yes, it's it's called chickless pot pie. It was my mom's thing. She was uh, battling cancer and she decided to try to cook more healthy and she was leaving out uh, meat and dairy. And so this was actually an amazing pot pie that I make for my family and they don't say oh it's really good for chickless you know they really do love it oh my gosh and then of course who are some of these fun people in here? There's my husband. Oh, I love him. Oh, 
is honey. so awesome. Look at this. He's Who, so cute. Look at this fantastic couple. I love him. He's my key tester. He tests all my recipes. I bet he does. <laughs> and he will tell me if he likes it. He will either not be able to speak and have the whole happy dance thing going, or he'll say, that's good. And if he says, that's good, it's not good enough. i got to keep working on so, it. So, honey, let me ask you this. When are we going to get Garth to come visit us? I don't know. He'll I mean, if he knew all sometime. this was being made tonight, he would be here. <laughs> well, sweetie, this just sold